I talking? I am. <laughs> These always start with me saying like, oh, do I, can I talk? Am I talking? Am I speaking with my vocal cords today? It's just me. Uh, I have the stream pulled up on my phone and I talk and then I try to listen through my phone to hear if I'm like talking, if my voice is coming through. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, as you can see, uh, I did something. Let's see, it, uh, I can't move my mouse. Right where, right next to uh, the little uh, twin dudes, Jacob and Esus. Got a little red, uh, red box. That, if you know what that is, then you know that that's what I did. Uh, but we're gonna be trying to get a, um, a lamb kill today. I still need to kill the lamb. I've not killed the lamb. I've been trying to, and I've uh, not been, been able to. So, do a little bit of a cane, cane run. Let's see if cane is our ticket. Hopefully. If you've been watching some of my other uh, streams, then you uh, you'll be happy to know that um, my mouse issue has been resolved by simply getting a new mouse. Okay, okay. What the hell? Right here, right here. Throw a bomb, throw a bomb. Come on. Right here, right here. Right here. No. Right here, right here, right here. Over here. Over here. Throw yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, my, my mouse issue has been resolved. I've gotten a new mouse. Which is the same mouse as I had last time, because it's a cheap mouse, and it's big, it fits my hand, it works. I, I don't need a complicated gaming mouse, and it's so hard to find a, a good mouse for me. Um, uh, is it just me to, like, they make all the mice so small. Everything's really tiny and compact, and, um... Find like it'll never work with my hand. Like I can use it, sure, but my hand scrapes along the table. And, uh, you know, rubs my my uh, palm all the time I'm using it. When I by the time I'm done on the computer, I look at my hand. But my whole palm is just like rubbed red. It's not ideal. So uh, having a nice big mouse that actually fits around my hands, which are I guess somewhat large. They're not huge hands, but they're, you know, I guess big enough hands. Um, it's nice to actually have something that fits for me. It's just being as cane like a bit of a purple tint. How's that? Good thing about Kane, I think this is a new update in um, in uh, Repentance. Was that all the pills are good pills? You'll never get a bad pill if you're playing as Kane. Very fond of that. I like. I'm, I'm a pill taker, I'm Isaac. I know a lot of people don't take pills. Um, Northern Line is one that he is not a believer in pills. He will not often consume pills, but me, I'm, I'm a big pill fan, I'm a, I'm a pill enjoyer, Isaac, and, uh, it's, it's nice to have a character where you can feel safe and confident in your pills, you know? This is, uh, it, it's like, it's like having prescribed pills rather than over-the-counter pills, where you're just kind of, like, doing the research or something, and I'll buy that over-the-counter pills. So the, the pills that you can just buy on your own, rather than having to uh, get prescribed them and have someone tell you this is what you need, and you're kind of like, I think this is what I need. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was just trying to make an, uh, an analogy, which is not very uh, successful, usually. So we got two basements squared out of the way, uh, bat, squared, squared out of the way, squared away. What's been going on lately? It's, it's, I 
think so. I've been watching a lot of the Olympics. When I can. I mean, it's on, you know, overnight. Uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world to watch. Uh, I'm gonna try to go for an angel. I'm not gonna take the devil, devil deals today. I don't know. I'm, I'm being, I'm being swayed to the, to the light side. I'm, I'm starting to think that angel deals are the way to go, and it's not worth it to take the devil deals. Especially with like, you know, you're trying to conserve your health. Me especially, since I'm a big. Uh, the way I beat Isaac is by tanking a lot of boss fights. I just need to take the hits and hope that I can, you know. I'm not the best dodger in the world. Mm. Yeah, the Olympics is pretty good. I don't, I don't understand Russia still. I've like, I've read articles on it. I've explained, uh, you know, that's explained. Oh, well, this is they got banned now. They're under this. It's like, well, you know, what are the rules that state that you can play when you've been banned? It's just not under your country, but it's still your country. It's weird. It's not, it's not the, uh, oh, the Eastern European Olympic Committee. It's the Russian Olympic Committee. So that, that's, that's Russia. I was, you know, don't tell me it's not Russia. I can just get away with it. I don't know. There's no justice in this world. a lot of the uh, stuff on the silver screen channel lately. That's a uh, channel we got. And it's just old movies from like, I can go as far back as like, I don't know, 20s, the 30s. Stuff up to like the 70s or 60s or whatever. It's just, just old movies on the channel. It's, just, uh, it's not something I actively watch. It's like, it's more like background noise. You know, you're playing a game or something, you got the TV on, and then you're, you got that on. Do I want Bumbo? Sure. I don't want that though. Ah. Right, I'm taking a lot of unnecessary hits today. I'm not in the the dodge groove. I'm in the, uh, in the Fall Guys groove. I want to figure out how to stream that. Uh, I think you can stream to Twitch from a PlayStation uh, 5, which is what I'm playing on. But I wouldn't know how, to, how I would add commentary to it. It would just be like, uh, absolute trash, you know, and me not talking at all. I, I don't know how that would work. So if I could figure out that, like, oh, does the uh, controller mic have able to be used for um, audio to a Twitch stream. Yeah, I'm I'm getting screwed. I'm getting screwed. I'm gonna die. 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 figure some things out. So we can get some hearts from this maybe. I guess I do want to try to level up my bumbo. I get some hearts, please. Search for some hearts, I guess. Hopefully not take a uh, damage then. <laughs> How did I get to what? Oh god. Look, 
I don't I didn't see what hit me there. Was it I well, I guess it was this top tier? This run is not looking good. Uh, run left this way. Probably gonna. I'm gonna spend five coins on the pill and use the last coin. Is... Okay, that's that's good. See. And nothing. So you got spiders. Should be enough to get me through the boss, hopefully. Um, this one. Okay. Remember to stay hydrated. Oh no, my bumbo! Take a sip. Delish. gonna be a uh, I'm gone live check my server guys Hang on. what is a gone live with Uh, Dan Giesling. I I'm not upset by Dan Giesling going live. Ah. Right, I do need to level up my bumble though. Why did I go this way? No more picking up coins. It's a bad thing to do. Don't like all these big encounters. <laughs> One hit kills though. Okay, okay, I'm taking a lot of hits. Get in the game. Stop stop messing around. Okay? Don't worry about getting landing hits, just worry about dodging hits. You know? Spray and pray and you'll do better than you know trying to get in for accuracy with while ignoring your actual health. I'm dead.
the Olympics. I've been trying to watch the Olympics. Um, they're on mostly overnight because uh, time zones. You know, if, um, if it's on... Okay, it was, it was worth it. But yeah, Japan is pretty much on the opposite side of the world, time zone-wise, from where I am. Um, it's close to, like, opposite as you can get, I think. Well, maybe a lot of other places can get closer, but for, for us, that is the closest time zone there is to complete opposite. It's in, I think it's an 11 and a half hour difference, or a 12 and a half hour difference. By the way, it's half an hour off from 12 hours. Um, so, so that's a good item to have. I don't know, that'll come in, uh, hopefully get some clutch moments for us. Okay, okay, you can explode. Wish I could fly. There's a big encounter that I need to get. In terms of thinking about what to stream, um, I just want to keep doing this. One. I want to. F I want to figure out the Isaac. I need not the Isaac. I need to figure out the Zelda, the Metroid Zelda randomizer. I want to figure that out. I want to be able to do that. Uh, I've tried it since that time where I tried it and it just didn't work. I need to try it again and see see what the issue is. Maybe I need to reinstall Twitch Studio again. I don't know. This is gonna be good. Oh, ho. I'll eat your heart out, Bumbo. This is all for you. How big does Bumbo get? Is there like a full Bumbo evolution Th that I know when to stop at? Or... I'll wait on that just a little bit longer. Okay, fine. This is gonna use up all the rest of my keys, though. So I hope I get at least one key back. Oh, tears up is is good. I need health. Oh, that's what I need. But I have a key. What? I don't know. I'm confused where I got this third key. Probably go to the shop. Hopefully, hopefully it's not greed. I I need some health, and hopefully they have a heart for me. Just realized I do not have my normal thing that I have my laptop on for to go on my lap. Pick one, and you can have the other. I still need to watch Ratchet on, on Netflix. It's, I don't know, I haven't heard anything like, I haven't heard that it's like a groundbreaking or great or anything like that. But, um, if it's a sequel or no, a prequel to uh, One Flew Over the Cooker's Nest, then I don't know, I should check it out at some point. It's a good movie. Bumbo get that. Again, does he ever stop at a certain point and it's gonna grow more? Where's Bumbo? There he is. You can go you can go across Bumbo. Get that. Oh he's growing, he's growing, he's he's a happy boy, he's growing big. go, Bumbo. There you go. Okay. I do need a uh, key, though. Not liking this. Come on, come on, come on. Key. It's for you, 
Ele tá andando. Ele tá andando. Eu tenho coin bambo. Oh, he's giving me stuff, okay. So I guess this is his final form, and he'll start giving me things for point collecting. Maybe. Bombs. Okay, let's do this first. This is dope. Mmm. Mmm. One. I still have two keys. Is that one? Okay. Is this a cane specialty or something? So I have three keys. I still have three keys. Can cane just open locked chests? That's not what I want. Now I do need coins. Coins are now of importance to obtain. There are no coins to be found. Great. I gotta fix my headset. Maybe. Sometimes it feels like it's just like pushing hair down a certain way. And it's kind of gets painful for some reason. I guess it's pulling my scalp a little bit in a certain direction where it's not normally pulled. Ah. Losing my train of thought. Like, I, I was having a lot to talk about when this thing started, but now i am got not a whole lot to talk about. Go 
into the shop and blow up the shopkeeper. Look at some coins from that. Do a little bit of that. Oh, I just spent it all on a thing I didn't want. What's in here? Power pill. Ever. Okay. Hopefully this is enough. Here. Okay. This is enough. Okay. <laughs> I'm just a. Uh... It's just. Can you fly? Can you get that? Okay. Right. Jesus! I didn't realize you had that attack. I don't know, is this guy new? I feel like I'm not familiar with, with who this guy is. Uh, this might come back to bite me. I'm gonna skip going and getting the half heart just to, for the sake of uh, time. I'm definitely gonna need all the hearts I can get. Uh, I'm gonna go to the lamp floor. That. The moon. Ugh. Skyward Sword came out on the Switch. I think I talked about this actually. I think I talked about Skyward Sword on the uh, on the Switch and how I enjoy motion controls better now that they're on a Joy-Con and not a Wiimote. If I had been going faster, I would have probably taken the teleport to get out of a boss rush situation. But that's not an option anymore. Okay. Should not have taken that, but whatever. I've been trying to do some challenges too. Uh, between last stream and this stream, I've been doing a couple challenges. I got a couple beat. I've tried a couple more and failed. Um, the uh, Isaac's Awakening was uh, very t tough for me. I don't know. I'm, I'm decent at uh, playing as a Sazel, but. Get it, getting up that close is, is a not an easy task for me, so. Having a bit of trouble with that. Um, but 
I got the, uh, the dark one done. I got the tank one done. You can all have that. Fight over it. Good luck. Oh, come on. Just a little too jumpy there. for because I'm insane. It's not worth it. Let's go find those secret rooms. Uh, get some more hearts. Found a secret room there. But... There are more. Shop. Oh, it's great shop. Alright, even more. It's not worth it, so. Alright. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Hang on to that one. That's it. Oh. Okay. So, secret. Super secret. Bunch of pins. Is there any more coins anywhere? I thought this, this was supposed to show me secrets. Did I not go to the secret room? Give it up. Here. Aha. Hopefully this one single coin is enough. Third option, which uh, is a bit of a stretch, but maybe it can. Well, hang on. What's that?
It's very obvious that I'm like... Okay, this one, this one, this one, this one. So, now I go. This last coin, I will try to, uh... Option. So, what I will do is go to the mom fight, try it, and hope if I get some coins that I can teleport out and um, come back to it. Crap. If I survive the mom fight. There were no coins, so... Now I... Um... <laughs> hmm. Now I give up and cry. Copium tells me that that was, um, just gonna be a bean anyways, so shouldn't worry about it. It was not health. It helps me sleep at night, if anything. I was watching my friend uh, Boring play some Escape from Tarkov the other day. Something I've heard a lot about, and never really watched before. This was my first exposure to it, and it looked pretty. It looked pretty interesting. It reminded me of like the the Daisy type of game. Um, I was a big fan of Daisy back in the 2014 days. Played it a ton. A lot of fun. That game. I might, I might 
be able to get back into a game like that, like DayZ or something. I don't know though. Something like I'm in the mood for now, but if I started playing it, how much would I play it before I stopped? That kind of thing. I feel like maybe not a lot. I find it weird that uh, the song Castaways from the Backyard again is popular now. I guess, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of back in the day when uh, the Little Einstein's theme got popular. I found that one uh, interesting because um, the Little Einstein's theme, that was uh, something that I, I was into <laughs> even as a kid. Like, I, Little Einstein's was past past my time. Um, I was not in the age demographic for Little Einsteins, but uh, I, you know, I, I caught some episodes, you know, there's nothing else on TV. You're over visiting grandma and, you know, she's got basic cable. There's, there's nothing much on the go, so you put on TV and you got Little Einsteins playing. So, you know, you know, what's this? Um, but I always like the theme song, and uh, my cousin also really liked the theme song, so it'd be like you know, it was like 2008 or something, we were together, uh, you know, singing Little Einsteins. <laughs> Just, because it's, it's, it's a bop, man, I don't know what to, what to tell you, but, um, get that, you can get this one. I'm not wasting keys on these. I'm not as big into castaways. Um, I don't, I don't know, I'm not feeling the song, personally. Um, but, uh, at least, uh, what's his name? Z Zach Tyler Eisen. Uh, at least he's getting some, you know, some recognition in the modern day for his vocal work. He, uh, he of course, played the role of Aang in uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, the TV show, not the movie. I don't even care about these guys anymore, I'm just, I'm just taking coins because I want them. No, they're not going to come in handy. I should really start giving the coins to these guys because, you know, there's no more shops. So why am I taking the coins? Like, I walk right into that. I'm trying to dodge it and I walk right into it. That's how terrible I am at these dodges. I'll take you. I could take that, but I, I'm not touching that thing. Oh my god. That was a terrible room. I don't know. I'm glad I survived it. Dropping bombs all over. Castaways. We are castaways. Way there. Boy. We are castaways. Ghostbusters uh, Afterlife trailer dropped. Um, I think it looks okay. It's like these these movies that capitalize on nostalgia from a, a different time. Uh, you know, you get the sequel to all oh, the my favorite movie from decades ago, 
and because you know no one makes anything original anymore. Well, that's not true. There is stuff coming out, but it, it's a lot of uh, lazy, you know, reboots or sequels or whatever. It's just old stuff, you no know, new original concepts that will become the blockbusters that we'll remember decades from now. Um, you know, the, the bankrupt Hollywood uh, is, I think, maybe a thing people call it. Uh, I'm not sure. But, um, I think, you know, it looks decent enough. It's... Looks like it's gonna be not as good as the first. It never is. Uh, it looks like... <sighs> Will it be better than the second? I... My opinion on the second movie, Ghostbusters 2, I thought the first half of the movie, very, very strong first half. Like, on par with the first movie. That's the first half of uh, Ghostbusters 2. And then it just drops off. It, I don't know what happened to it. It just took a, took a nosedive, kind of. A fortune. Um... Yeah, you know, if, if the second half of the movie had been as strong as the first half, I feel like a lot of people would still like Ghostbusters 2 to this day. I feel like it would be a, uh, a big hit in the modern day. It is, uh, you know, seen as not that great of a movie. Ghostbusters 2016, I... I cannot comment on Ghostbusters 2016 because I don't want to be killed. I don't want people to break into my house and slaughter me in my sleep. But also, I've never seen it. Um, it's a very controversial movie when it came out, and I just could not—I couldn't be bothered with all the controversy, the debate, and everything. I, I, you know, it put me off the movie. All the you have to see this, or you're this, or if you don't like it, then you're this, and if you do like it, then you're this, and you know, if you go and see this, then you're this. It, it, it just, uh, you know, just... I, I chose to be busy with something else at the time of its release. Um, I, I do own it, though, actually. I, I have it sitting on my shelf. I'm pretty sure I bought, uh, there's a three-pack of Ghostbusters. There's the first two and then the new one. I bought the whole shebang. And, um, I still haven't watched it though. I should, I should probably watch that, actually. I heard, I heard it wasn't bad. I heard it was okay, but you know, again. It's, did we need this? Is it something that we wanted? Is it as good as the first one? Not really. No one expected it to be, so... better. Okay. So I know I can refill on any hearts that I lose during this fight, which is a good thing. If I survive the fight, that is. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, right, right. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh... -huh, uh, -huh. uh -huh. Save me. Okay, okay. I think that happens a lot. It's like a 50% chance of getting revived after you die. Maybe. Okay, I'm, I'm doing worse already. This is immediately worse than the last fight. I should have gone searching through the floor and other things. 
Oh, I thought you were gonna do brimstone. I thought you were gonna do a brimstone. Stop! So this is this is this is my issue. I'm I'm not good at this game. You know, I can play it enough and get a lucky run and, and get something, but otherwise it's like I just don't have the skill needed to dodge these attacks. I don't know. Spiders. I find it's sometimes hard to see the spiders in this like black background. <laughs> Some hearts. Anything. Coins that you can turn into hearts. This one again? Emperor, I don't need the Emperor. Uh oh. Okay, okay. Just, uh, okay, can you drop some things for me? Can you drop some things? I see a pill. This is a bad room, actually. This is a very bad room. Uh, let me just... Okay, you're not coming around, you're not sneaking around, you're not sneaking around. You're not sly, you're not sly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it all bombs? I don't need more bombs. Oh, come on, I'm, this, is, this, this, this is already the boss. Oh.
Let's see if I can get some more soul hearts out of this thing. Oh, never mind, it exploded, right? And that's why I gave up on it. I'm not gonna waste two hearts going in and out of, uh... The, um... Spike room. There's nothing else I can do. I mean, I don't have any more areas in the in the floor to go to. Pink item was. Is that the tears up soap or is that something else? I think it's something else, but not sure. So hopefully we'll be moving a little bit faster with this character. This, uh, this character is all about speed, quick kills on enemies. I do not enjoy pain, so I will not be doing the all path. Pills, pills. So I drop pills or does he eat pills?
I'm, I'm we're like, I'm right, I have things to talk about. Or I'm just like, I'm in, I'm in gamer, gamer mode now. So, I'm like... So if I eat a pill, then he fills up the room with gas. is consumed by your glass. Alright. Oh wait, hang on. Oh okay. Oh I know where the secrets are. Did I use a pill? Curious. It's it's a uh, it's a warm day today. It's kind of been cold lately. It's been cold. It's been. Um, I don't want that. I do like the game though, Tapeworm by Edmund McMillan. If you have not played Tapeworm by Edmund McMillan, then I recommend it. It's a good game. Uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been it's been warm today. It's, it hasn't really been sunny. It's, I don't know. It's like one of those weird days where it's like just really cloudy. It's like you know you, you can't see blue sky. Yeah, it's like super bright and sunny. So it must be blue somewhere. The sun's getting through. But I, I don't I don't see it at least from where my window is facing. It's, it's it's nice to have some uh, some actual you know nice climate. Um, I still don't know what this thing does. This is, this is the thing that glitches out the level or something. Right? I'm not. I'm always afraid to use it when I when I get it. Opportunity to use this. Last fight? No. Big encounter. Everything's glitched, everything's bad, everything's bad. Oh I know I, I don't know. I don't know how this works. See, it's uh, it's weird. Things weird. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. It just confuses me, that's all it does. I just I don't know what I'm doing. It's more detrimental. So I feel like I'm at a disadvantage when I use it. So I don't know what's happening. Go this way. I'm a bit of a floor explorer, you know? You know, when you get down to the lower floors, like womb and everything, and you know, if things are dangerous and there's not much reason to explore, then I'm not much of a floor explorer. In these, in these early stages, I, I like to look around and see everything I can get. Now we're going in there last. Oops. My charge. Come down. That's my shot speed down. Experimental pill. Going in. Justice. Tail cursed the stars. Okay. Now I think I'm good to go. The boss. Yeah, I hope anyone out there, you know, it's it's summertime. I hope anyone out there that is on vacation at the moment or you know is uh, enjoying the, the summer, going around places. I hope you are. 
know, driving safe. Don't don't go somewhere too fast. You know, drive drive slow, drive safe. Um, go the speed limit. Uh, and you'll arrive there, probably feeling better, being more composed, relaxed, and uh, you'll also get there alive. You'll be safe and sound, so it's a win-win. Be a safe driver you may be going on your summer vacation. Me, I'm not going anywhere. It's... You know, I, I always feel kind of jealous about these, uh, these mainland folks who, you know, they can just drive wherever they want to. It's, you know... It's, uh... It's the whole world's open to them. I'm, I'm here. I'm stuck on an island. I'm, you know... There's not a lot I can do. Go. You know. Without getting on a boat or a plane. And that's just too much planning for, you know. Day of driving. Kinda weird about my health right now. Not the most confident. Hopefully I can uh, find something on, something on this floor that will uh, get me out of this slump. This item get me out of my slump, let's see. <laughs> oh no, it will not. It's not the run saving item that I was hoping for. This way, I know that much. Kind of been in the mood to watch the Goonies again. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. It's a, it's a good movie. It's, you know. It's just that, like, it's what that adventure feels like when, when you're a kid, you feel like, you know. This is this is what your idea of an adventure is. Everything's just so magical. This is the word. What are you gonna drop? Uh. I need to get out of this room now. That's uh that is a great thing to have. Was it like a yellow pill? Yellow yellowy pill? Keep that in mind. For the yellowy pills. And you will be saved. Let's get back you up to uh, 98. I don't like putting it at 99 in case I accidentally run into it and just bust the machine open completely. I like having, you know, that little bit of a uh, safe space where I can tap it, be like, oops, and then blow it up and, you know, get it away from that uh, tipping point. Where's the boss? It's not the boss. Up, 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 up. What's going on? Okay. 
It's the Grand Supreme. Oh my god, ew, ew. My excuse is that I was so upset by the sight of soy milk that I just could not live in this world anymore. Okay. It do be like that sometimes. Too many big encounters. I don't like these big encounters. Can I avoid them? Probably not. Black candle, if possible. This is a dangerous, uh, dangerous room. Oh. Maybe this isn't so bad. I thought this was the one that made your worm gall like blah, 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 blah. just all over the place. I guess not. Jesus! I didn't realize it got so fast. Stop to the right. Oh god, it's fast. Why is it fast? Why is it fast? Ah!
Hopefully all that's worn off now. I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm, I don't know, I gotta think, I'm, I'm, the commentary is running, running, out. I'm, I've, like, I don't think about, like, movies and stuff, like, what movies have come out in the recent years that have been, like, you know, that is, that is refreshing, and, you know, that have been, like, original. I don't know, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it's kind of... I like Doctor Sleep, but that was a sequel to The Shining. Uh, the Joker was, you know, part of the whole Batman franchise thing. So I don't know if that counts. Um, I never saw Sonic. I wanted to see Sonic in uh, in theaters. Um, but COVID happened before I got the chance to, so I, I, I never got to see Sonic in theaters, and I never got to see it afterwards. Why do I keep getting that item today? Um, Godzilla vs. Kong? I saw that. That was actually the last movie I saw in um, in the local movie theater. Uh, I wanted to see uh, Mortal Kombat. Er. Yeah. Oh great. Yeah, yeah I wanted I wanted to see Mortal Kombat, um, but. The theater closed down permanently uh, before I got the chance to see that. So the uh, only theater now is uh, the one in the mall in the city. I don't like that theater. It's too crowded. It's too busy. It's always busy. I'll go some devil deals, whatever. I can't get it. I don't know why. I actually, I couldn't get anything. I thought maybe it'd be like a. Uh, Free black card in here or something. Oh, crunch. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I knew that, that that theater was not long for this world, but like it has been not long for this world for years and years and years and years and years. You know that thing has been like going like I don't know every time I went there you know, unless it was like opening night um, you were most likely to uh, have the theater to yourself or at the very least have it so um, there's like, maybe like a couple other people in the theater with you while you're watching a movie yeah, like it was fantastic I loved it but you know that's not a very sustainable <laughs> uh, theater at all. Um, but you know, it was great. It, like, from what I hear, uh, and I wish I had known this um, while I was still open, they did a lot of, uh, like, you know, special screenings. Like, you know, if uh, a bunch of people were like, hey, can you put this, this in the theater? We'll go see it. They would actually, they would, like, actually do it. So, you know, there'd be, like, 
like anime movies would get shown there, you know? Old movies, like old cult movies would get shown there, old, you know, tons of stuff would get shown there. Because, you know, they had to, it was just a locally owned kind of... I don't think I don't know if it's looking at but it was a, it was a kind of theater that could do that kind of thing. But the theater the in the city at the mall is so crowded and popular. You're like you're gonna get the new releases. That's about it. You're not gonna see anything. You know, the the the, old, the other theater used to do uh, you know showing some old films. So you could go and you could see Jurassic Park in the theater. You could go and see. You know, the shining in the theater. It was it was awesome, but the new theater doesn't do that. The, the big theater doesn't do that. Um, they did a little bit of it uh, during the COVID when all the movies were not getting made, so they had nothing to show. They're like, okay, we'll show some old movies just to fill in the theaters and get some people out to the movies so we don't go out of business. But, uh,. I was not a fan of that run anyways. Just gonna finish my water real quick. The room suddenly got darker. I think a cloud went over the sun. Yeah, it was, it was a cool little place. It was, um... The old movie theater was actually... It was, it was in a mall, but it was in a dead mall. Apparently the mall used to be, you know, very big back, I don't know, a couple decades ago. A few, few decades. Lots of decades ago. <laughs> Probably like the 80s. Um... But, uh... It was, um, yeah, in a mall, but it was like the only notable thing in the mall. Uh, so like everything else was closed, or it was just like offices or whatever, so you'd go there, you know, unless you were going there in the morning, you know, when people were there like working at an office or something, then likely you were going to be the only one in the building. You'd walk in, you'd go, like, the whole building would just be like empty, you'd never see a single person. This is like, it's a freaky experience. Uh, you know, for the, the introvert like me, who would like very much enjoy to see a very much would very much enjoy seeing a movie by themselves in a theater by themselves in a mall by themselves. Uh, it was it was a it was a really cool experience, um, and I'm I'm glad I at least got to experience it uh, while it was around. You know. It's, it's a big loss, for, for sure. Um, I keep all my uh, tickets whenever I go to see a movie. I, I've kept all the tickets since 2015. Um, so I got plenty of tickets from the, from the theater that I'm going to hang on to forever. <laughs> so I'll at least have that keepsake. I'm getting a little sad now. It's just, it's, you know. Appreciate the constants in life, okay? You know, the, the further you go into life, the, you know, the more things change, and change is good. You know, we need change to progress and all that. I'm not saying change is bad. I welcome change, but having some things that stick around, you know, from beginning to end, things, you know, from when you were a kid, from, you know, when you were a teenager, or, you know, however long. Having some, some constants is a good thing, and, you know, they might not be there forever, so... That kind of stuff, appreciate it while it's there. You know, be in the moment, don't think like, oh, well, I, you know, 
I'm doing this, but I miss this other thing. Because, you know, enjoy the thing you're doing, because that might not even be around. You know, a couple years from now. You know, like an old, an old store that's still open, or an old tree that's still there, or an old park, or you know, anything like that, you know? An old YouTube video that's still uploaded. You know, there's so many times where I try to go back and find it, uh, an old YouTube video, and it's like the channel got deleted or they made it private for whatever reason. It's like, well, you know, that was like one of my favorite videos that I used to like to watch. I, you know, I wanted to relive some of that, and now oh, it's gone. You know, nothing is guaranteed to last in this world, so. You should, uh. Should enjoy the stuff while it's there. And yeah, that, that's that, I guess. A um, little bit of a, a solemn topic, but uh, you know, I think overall it's a positive thing. It's it's uh, it's positive experiences. You know, it's it's things that you got to enjoy. It's it's things that you will memories that you will cherish forever, pretty much. There's nothing, there's nothing bad about that. So... Yeah. I don't, I don't know. What's that? What, what are you doing? It's a, it's a thin thing. Didn't do anything. I don't, I don't know. They revealed the secrets, I guess? Please. Something that I kind of wish would make a comeback is, uh, booby stores. I mean, like, I know that's not a good thing. Like, uh, you know, the people that are still into movie collection and, you know, buying physical movies and, you know, the, the video store and all that, you know, that's, uh... The, you know, there's gonna be, like, local, local stuff hidden around in places. Um, there's nothing like that really here. Uh, but where can you get movies? It's like a, there's a pawn shop that, you know, a lot of people sell movies at. Um, it's one of those um, uh, goodwill type places that uh, people donate movies to, but they're not specifically movie stores. Um, Walmart will have some movies, um, but there's no like dedicated movie stores here anymore. And you know, just ten years ago, that was a thing. I mean. I remember when I first moved into this house, there's a uh, there's a locally owned video store just down the hill from from me, and um, that place was was great. My, me and my cousin used to go there all the time, get some get some popcorn, get some snacks, you know, look at the movies and everything. It was it, it was a great place, but then it closed down. You know, when uh, Blockbuster went down and out and all that. If you go on a uh, Google Street View, you can still go down there and go back to the, um, 2009, which is the oldest, uh, I think the oldest view from, from here, and, uh, you'll still see it there. That looks great. There's still a couple of video game stores around that, you know, aren't EB games. Um, there's a, yeah, there's a couple of places. One does, like... This is one that's... It used to be called Nintendo World. It's called Entertainment Center now. It, um, it, they actually do do, like, new stuff. Like, Nintendo, you know, has deals with them. And, like, they'll get new Nintendo games and stuff. And it's a locally owned store, so that's... 
you know, if I, if I can get a game there, I like to, rather than even games. It's, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a cool little spot, and I, you know, I, I want to see uh, financial succeed and continue and all that. Um, but they also have like a ton of old games too, so you go and you'll see a lot of GameCube, Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, NES, Game Boys, and all that. We. The other one is called Games Exchange, but that's like. I don't know, they do have everything, but it's like. That, I think that one, that one, that one has a huge uh, collection of stuff. I, I keep going there, I'm like, oh, do you, do you have a. Uh, do you have a. Um, is it, uh, I can't think of the name now. Like I'm drawing a blank. I know what I know what it is. What the hell? Tetris Attack. Christ. It's like a Yoshi game. So I was trying to think of like Yoshi's this. Yoshi's no. It's Tetris Attack. Yeah. I've, like, I've asked them about Tetris Attack a few times there. Like, every time they're like, yeah, we think we have it. And they look and they're like, no, we don't have it. <laughs> Crap. I don't know. I haven't been down there in a while. Maybe they do have it now. If I'm suddenly playing, it's worse because I switched positions and this is uh, a little bit more awkward to uh, play with. But it's also more comfortable for me, so I'm staying. I was checking out uh, Mike Bate's first Zelda uh, stream that he did. Back when the game came out, so this is like you know, March 2017. Um, the video is still up. I left a comment on it like a year ago. This, you know, I, I, I was watching it and I, was, I looked at all the comments and everyone's like complaining. Wow, it's so hard to watch. He's so bad at this game. I, I can't watch this because he's not good at the game. So I, I had like a rant because I've. This is just it. It's a mentality I've seen a lot of times before. Kind of ties into backseat gaming a little bit. Um, it, uh, it's, 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 it's this weird thing that it's, a lot of people seem to be affected by it, but they can't watch someone play a game for the first time. They can't watch someone who is not good at a game. If someone needs to be good at a game, someone needs to know what they're doing in a game, otherwise the person watching is going to physically cringe watching it. They're going to be like, I oh, it's so bad watching this game that someone doesn't know how to play. It just came out a day ago and they're playing it. They don't know how to play the game. And they, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit of an exaggeration, but I, for most people, some people do actually get that bad. Yeah, so there's a whole lot of that, like, why doesn't he know what to do? Why is he so bad at this game? Why is he, you know... He's a he's a guy who grew up playing old-style games, that's mostly what he's into. He's not in, as into the new-style games, so he's not going to be as good as... It. So he's not going to be as new at... at, at uh, he's not going to be as good at the new-style of games. Plus, the game just came out <laughs> the day he's streaming it. So, he doesn't know what to do. No one knows what to do. It's... It's bizarre. This mentality. It's like, you know, and why do you gotta complain about it, too? People... They'll, they'll go th through great lengths to make their frustration known. It's like, well, just watch someone else. You know, there's plenty of people who played the game and they know what they're doing. Watch a speedrun. Watch, so watch a walkthrough if you want to see someone who's super good at the game. I don't know, you know. I don't watch it for like the super good gameplay. I watch it for the person playing it. I watch it for the, the character, the personality. You know, like today he's a uh, he's an old school gamer. He's he's been around since the old NES days. 
He has a lot of uh, knowledge of that type of game, so it's interesting to hear his thoughts on modern gaming and, you know, the things that they're doing compared to the old stuff, you know? Yeah, I, that's what I'm there for, I'm there, and I'm there to see him kind of learn and discover this game and enjoy it for the first time, I, you know? It's, it's a weird, weird thing. I get so frustrated about backseat gaming, like... Uh, Steven, Steven George and, uh, and Mal, they, they both, uh... They both played uh, Breath of the Wild Blind for the first time starting last year. Um, they recently finished it. Uh, but I remember when that first started, they, like, there was a lot of people that were like... They made it very clear, no backseat gaming, no hints of any kind, no spoilers, no nothing. We want to experience this for the first time. We want to figure it out on our own. Please do not give us any hints, you know? And people could not get that through their heads like... Oh, you forgot you had this. This is how you solve the puzzle. You need to use this to solve the puzzle, okay? You got, like... No, now you gotta go here. It's like... What did they say? Do not spoil the game, please. It got so bad to the point where they had to stop reading the chat. They, like... They were like, yeah, we're, just, we're not gonna read the chat. We're just gonna play the game. You can watch it, but we're not gonna read the chat. And the same people that uh, were complaining about, you know... All that, they start complaining that, like, they can't interact. It's like, well, you... Could have if you just, you know, let them be, <laughs> let them play the game, let them enjoy the game, let them figure it out. You know, if you're doing a Sudoku puzzle, I'm not gonna go over and be like, oh yeah, okay, put this here, put that there. Oh, that's 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 the crossword. You know, all the all the this piece goes here. This piece, you know, like, you know, if you're trying to figure it out on your own, I'm not gonna come and like ruin that for you. It, it's a thing that you're trying to overcome. You're trying to enjoy. You're trying to figure it out yourself and feel good about yourself for. Figuring out these accomplishments. And all that. I don't. Know, I get. I get, I get heated about this kind of thing. I'm, you know, this is a. This is the kind of thing. It's just. There's an old. Uh, it's one of my YouTube streams of Minecraft that I did back. I think this this one's private, but like someone came into the chat, and they were like asking me. If they could play on it, and then they kept telling me, uh, you know, like, oh, you gotta do this, do this next, okay, oh, make a bed, do this, you gotta make a bed. It's like, bro, chill, I'm playing the game on my own. <laughs> like, you're, you're not playing the game for me, I'm playing the game on my own, leave me alone. And it's like, you know, when you're a small nobody streamer, you know, and you got one person in your chat, you, you'd like to keep them around, hopefully. You know, one's better than none, but like, this is the kind of person that's here, you know, well, you know I, I, I want to tell them to piss off, but I don't want to tell them to piss off. It's it's a weird... I don't know. I'm, I'm going on too long about this. Point is, backseat gaming, you know, I don't understand why it's so hard for people to not backseat game. I don't understand why it's so hard for people to just enjoy watching someone play something for the first time. Even if they're not good at it, even if, you know, they're getting stuck, they don't know what to do, let them figure it out. That's that's part of the fun. I enjoy seeing someone, you know, go from point A to point B and the process to get there, you know? If they're stuck in a puzzle, I like seeing the thought process, them working through it. I like to see, you know, and then when you actually do see them finish it, there's that satisfaction. There's, you know... Yeah, I, I just, I, I beat this. Just one sec
I didn't realize how much uh, ears hurt. going on? What the hell? Wait, I'm... Christ. Uh... I'm gonna stop streaming for now. I'm gonna... I don't know, I'm kind of... Realize how kind of late it is. I'm getting hungry. I kind of want to get food. I don't know. I'm gonna stop streaming. I might continue this run later. So I'll stop here. I'm nearly dead, anyways. Jeez, what the hell? Thanks for watching. I don't know. That's a long, long rant. But, um... So, uh, um, have a good day.